advice do you have for management learners? And I'm going to make that pretty broad, uh, just because again, some people listening to this might be first year. Some people here might be recently graduated. Some people here might um, be graduated from the B management or not the B com. So in general, what advice would you have for management learners? My best advice would be to challenge yourself. I would say picking an accounting major was probably um, one of the hardest things for me because like in first year, as we know, I wasn't necessarily pursuing accounting and I knew that it would be the hardest thing for me. So I would say my advice for management learners would be to challenge yourself to do the most competitive degree you can, but within your capabilities. So don't overextend yourself to pursue a major that you don't even see any form of a future in because that's a waste of energy, obviously. But I think if you can challenge yourself to do the hardest thing you can do, because that's the only way you're going to grow. So I would also say, if I could give advice to like first years or what they're doing, I would say at some point in your degree, it's really important. I had one of the boss, um, a boss for my third co-op, he sat me down and he made me fill out this worksheet on sort of like what I wanted from a career, because I told him I didn't know, I had no idea. And I think that that is something really important that everyone in the management program should do, because if you have no idea what you want, then you have no idea how you're going to get there. So I think like a really important thing to figure out in a management or business degree is like, what do you want from this? What's the purpose behind this? I feel like that's important. How do people balance that? Like, what what do I want without feeling like, okay, if I say this now, I have to do this for the rest of my life. Like- is, is there kind of like an internal permission that it's like kind of what you've shown throughout your career and what I've shown throughout my career is that what you want can change. And it doesn't mean you're flippy floppy. It doesn't mean you're not working hard or that you weren't committed. It just means you got more information and you're the kind of person that's like, I want to make the best decision with like the information I have available. And if I get better information, I'll change that. Definitely. I would say um, just from my personal experiences is keeping a lot of that to yourself because then you don't feel like you've let people down when you decide to pursue a different path. If you keep that like within your close circle and only the people close to you know what you're planning on doing, then everything just comes as a pleasant surprise to everyone else once you announce what you're doing. So I think it's good to keep good- things to yourself. Yeah, that's a really good perspective. And just say like, well, what do you think now? It's like, I'm exploring, like, what, what are your thoughts? And like, maybe then they'll go down their own like rabbit hole and you're like, cool, like, that's awesome. Like, why, why that? Yeah, yeah, like I had people I mean. say to me, oh, are you going to be in school forever? Like, what are you even doing? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, maybe like that's none of your business. <laughs> hey, like, <laughs> that's my plan, right? Like, Yeah, I'm but it's just school. because I hadn't specifically outlined a career goal, oh. but it's because my career goals are personal. That's my goals. Yeah. You'll know once I achieve them. <laughs> yeah, no, very fair. Um, interesting. Being friendly and outgoing, connecting with people, but at the same time, like just because somebody asks you a question doesn't mean you have to answer them. Mm -hmm. And obviously if you're in a situation where you're sitting with your manager and they're like, where do you see yourself (laughs) in five years at this company? You have to tell them like, oh, I see myself being in your role or something like that. (laughs) But if it's just like your peers asking, what are you going to do with your career? Then that's your business. Yeah, absolutely. And it's kind of like that. I know it's not like the friendship podcast, but at the same time, um, <laughs> friends friends celebrate you and support you. And those who hate on you, are they really your friends? So yeah, you do you. Mm-hmm. Okay. So how do you know when it's time, um, the right time to move on from your last role or job? Because change is hard. Um, and maybe this kind of connects with how do you know when it's right to leave the country or you know pursue <laughs> the next thing? Like, how do you know when it's right to like, leave things? I might also be asking for some personal advice, like not doubt, but just in general, like, you know, endings are hard. So how, like, how do you know when it's the right time to kind of move on? Yeah, definitely. I definitely struggled leaving Halifax in the in December, it was really, really hard because I have obviously a great life there. Like I love all my friends. I love Dal. I think it's one of the best schools ever. I'm a big advocate for Dal, but I think that I knew it was time to move on when I felt stagnant. Like I felt Mm. I had reached my growth potential of Halifax and of Dal. So that's why I really wanted to go to Oxford because I felt like it would be a really good way to challenge myself. And then it just physically felt right. Like I just knew that this was the next step that I had to take. I had to leave. And then ever since I left, like my life has completely changed and everything's been a hundred percent for the best. So I feel like, you know, when it's time to move on, you just know, 
like within you. And even though you might want to suppress that and you might not want it to be time, it is probably time and it is so rewarding afterwards. Like, I think it's always for the best when you move on because at one point you wanted to move on. So if you were feeling like it was time to move on, then there should be no regrets there because it was time. So you bring up an interesting thing and I just want to circle back to something that we briefly touched on before we went live. And that is at one point, Halifax was new to you and Halifax was, you know, scary and something new to challenge. And that was the challenge, right? So it's not that it's Halifax itself. It's like, no, it's you, we have different stages in our lives. We have different things that we want to explore. And I believe you came from like Toronto, Toronto, or at least Ontario. So you were coming from a bigger city quote to a smaller city. Um, and it was even more, it was like the experience. And so it's not necessarily the size of the town or the degree itself, but it's like, Hey, I wanted this challenge. I'm here. And at the time when you feel like it's ready to move on, like listen to yourself because that's mm-hmm. when it's, it's just trusting your intuition and knowing yeah. when it's time. And I feel like another, like just random piece yeah. of advice I would give is doing things alone. Like when I came to Halifax, mm-hmm. I came fully on my own with no friends from high school, which was like the scariest thing I could have possibly done at that yeah. time. And it ended up working out so for the best because I couldn't have gotten as close with the people that I got close with if I had my like first friends with me, which like, I love my first friends so much and I'm so grateful to still have them in my life so actively, but I'm also so grateful for the new friendships I made. And likewise, when I came to Oxford, I came completely alone, which gave me the opportunity to get close to all the people that I met here. So it's just like independence, I feel like is huge for that too, with knowing when it's time to move on. It's like when you feel independent and ready to take that step for yourself. Nice. And the cool thing is, is you'll take that feeling and you'll take those experiences into the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. And it's just like, I, I honestly, I had felt stagnant in Halifax that I wasn't growing anymore, but I didn't know how much more growing I had to do until I came here. And now I'm a completely different person than I was in December. And I'm sure it'll be the exact same thing after the summer. (laughs) And then another thing after my master's, it's crazy. (laughs) 